Hi everyone, I'm here today to review Big Mushy Happy Lump by Sarah Anderson and this is her second sort of collection from the Sarah Scribbles collection. I read and reviewed the first one last year and I will link to that up there in the cards and also down in the description if you want to check that out. You don't need to have read the first book to read the second book but I recommend that you do just because I feel like they work really well together and actually they would probably make the perfect gift set for almost any female if you got them like books one and two so that's a Christmas idea for you. This book came out earlier this week so if you want to check it out then you now can it is now out to buy. I received this book from the publisher via NetGalley in return for an honest review and I gave it five stars I believe. I gave the first book four stars although I feel like actually I should probably give it five stars and I gave this one five stars. I've loved them both I think they're both fantastic but this one's just got a little bit of an edge on the other one in the sense that this one through her scribbles in the comic style the same as last time where it's just you know simple scribbles on a page which doesn't sound like much actually like can really help make a difference to people I think because in this one she talks about anxiety and relationships and the pressures of everyday life and it still makes it fun. We also cover some social anxiety, um, self-perception, relationships. I just felt like this was all covered so well and handled really well and would actually help a lot of people feel better about themselves, I think, to understand that it's things that other people go through as well. I myself managed to identify with so many of the pages yet again. I think that is the best thing about reading these books. You look at a page and not every page will be something that you can identify with, but there will be several pages along the way that you are like, oh my goodness, yes, that's me. Oh my God, yeah, that's me. And so this really hits the mark in that sense. For me, <laughs> one of the pages that actually, it was quite a lighthearted page that I most sort of identified with was, there's like a selection of images and scribbles where she's wearing her own hoodie. Um, us girls that have got boyfriends, we don't want to wear our own hoodies. We want to wear the boyfriend's hoodie because the boyfriend's hoodie is so much warmer and so much thicker. Why are girls' hoodies so crappy? Everyone that I know, given the choice, would put their boyfriend's hoodies on. And this is covered in that book too in a series of scribbles. And I was just sat there chuckling away to myself because like that is so true. Then you have simple things like getting the correct angle on a selfie. That one made me giggle as well. Just like really identifiable everyday things that you probably wouldn't even think about normally putting in like a comic or graphic novel and yet they're in there and you identify with them and they amuse you and they make you feel better about yourself. Overall I just really love the combination of humour versus confidence in yourself through everyday life and through realising that many of the things that you feel are normal things that everyone goes through. And Indeed, that was the same with the first book as well. I feel like this is just such a strong series for making, especially young women, feel better about themselves in terms of just everyday life. So thank you so much for watching this review. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe by clicking that image of me just there if you want to see more book reviews and other bookish content by me. And I will see you tomorrow with... I don't really know what yet. I can't think. I know I've got it planned, I just can't remember what I'm actually filming for tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Bye-bye!